What is going on guys, Gregless TV. This is the video I promised you guys on 10 questions answered about the Razer Phone 2. Now this is marketed as a gaming phone and it doesn't have the traditional 16 or 18 by nine aspect ratio. It actually has 16 by nine aspect ratio. So it's a little bit shorter and fatter than usual. So let's get into the questions. Now the first question comes from Ricky Rax and he actually ended up asking five questions and but he also got the most uh, likes for his questions. So he said, I want to know how the speaker sound compares to the Galaxy Note 9. How good is the battery compared to the Galaxy Note 9? How good are the cameras? And what about the quick charge? How fast does it charge? And the biggest question, is it worth buying? Now to keep it short and sweet, which one has the better speaker, the Galaxy Note 9 or the Razer Phone 2? I would say the Razer Phone 2, it's louder. Um, but the one thing is when it's at its loudest peak, it sounds like it distorts a little bit. I would definitely compare the best speaker, this one, uh, the Razer Phone 2, comparing that to the Pixel 3 XL. But let's just let you hear the differences regardless. Both are at max volume. Uh, this one's just louder. I mean, I like a louder speaker. It, this is still loud, but this is definitely louder. So they're both really good speakers, but again, the Razer Phone 2 definitely has the louder speaker. So how's the battery life between the two phones? Which one has better battery life? And they're both very, very similar. They both have 4,000 milliamp batteries. They both have eight gigabytes of RAM. They both have Snapdragon 845 uh, processors. They both have 2K displays. One's LCD, being the Razer phone. This one is AMOLED. And uh, which one has better battery life? I'd basically race, rate them about the same. Um, get about the same amount of battery life, four to five hours of screen on time. At least that's what I get with both. So I would give it mostly a tie for that one. Cameras, which one has the better camera? I did a video on this already showing the front facing cameras and I gave it to the Galaxy Note 9 having the better front facing cameras but I give the Razer phone having better microphones recording the audio. I felt like this one was a little bit more dead on the Galaxy Note 9, and it was a little bit more livelier, the microphones anyway, on the Razer phone too. As for the rare cameras on both of these phones, again, I'd give it to the Galaxy Note 9. It's just overall, just a, a clearer, more rich, better photo. So again, Galaxy Note 9 with the better cameras. So the Razer phone has quick charge 4.0 and uh, does it charge that much faster than the Galaxy Note 9? I'm gonna say no. It seems very, very close to the point where it's really minuscule and it's, is it worth it? It's cooler that it has newer technology for that, but overall it's not a huge deal. So again, I'd give it, I'd give it to the Razer phone, but the Note 9 is very close behind. And then lastly, it's a little premature because it's only the fifth question, but is it worth it to buy the Razer phone to it and that all depends on what you're looking for. For me, the things that hold it back are, uh, it's, it doesn't feel modern in terms of the design. The design is short and fat, meaning 16 by, 16 by nine, whereas a lot of the other phones are 18 by nine or 19 by nine. They're easier to hold, like the Galaxy Note 9 is just an easier phone to hold in your hand versus the Razer phone 2. So that's something that's holding it back for me. Uh, other than that, it's a really nice phone. It's 799 bucks. It games really, really well. It's a super powerful phone having Snapdragon 845, eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, it doesn't have a headphone jack like the Galaxy Note 9 does. Um, overall, like I said in previous videos, Galaxy Note 9 is definitely my phone of the year. It's pretty much got everything and anything you would want on a phone, it might not be the best at everything, but it has pretty much everything. And this phone has a lot too, a lot going for it. It's just the design holds it back for me and it not having, um, you know, one of the best cameras, um, then again, that's holds it back for me as well. Next question comes from J-Rods. I want to know how awesome the screen is, better than the Note 9. So the screens on these two phones, the Galaxy Note 9 and the Razer Phone 2, which one has the better screen? Definitely the Galaxy Note 9. The Galaxy Note 9 has my favorite display. It's the brightest and the colors are the richest and the deepest. On the Razer Phone 2, they just don't get rich enough. They're kind of faded, slightly looking compar comparatively to the Galaxy Note 9. They're still, it's still a nice display. It's just, 
it, it being LCD versus uh, you know, AMOLED, there's really no competition. AMOLED is going to beat it in richer, deeper colors. The other thing about this phone is it has 120 hertz display, which I thought was gonna be a huge deal. If you watch a lot of other YouTubers, they're gonna be like, oh my God, it's like the craziest thing. It's like, feels so smooth and crazy. And it does, it's nice and smooth, but if I gave you this phone, and then I also gave you a Pixel phone or a OnePlus phone or even a Galaxy Note 9, they're just as smooth. You, the, a normal person's not gonna notice the difference, and neither do I, to be honest with you. So the 120 hertz display, to me, is all smoke and mirrors. Harvey's asking how durable is the exterior of the phone? Well, Harvey, I would be slightly concerned to drop this face down. I'm assuming it would crack its glass on the back. So durability, it, I wouldn't give it any bit, you know, stronger or better than any other phone at this point with everyone having using glass back. So it's gonna crack most likely. So durability, probably not there. The Duke is asking, is the display better than the first gen? Now I didn't have the first gen, but a lot of people complained about the brightness of this display. On the first gen, this one is actually pretty bright. Um, I can put this almost all the way down. I mean, you can't really see it there, but um, it's actually a pretty bright display for the most part. I can see it outside. I had no problems with it. That was one of the reasons I didn't actually uh, go through with my order on the first gen at the time is because I heard the display brightness was crazy bad. This one, not bad at all. I'm definitely impressed in that regard. Is that as bright as a Galaxy Note 9? No, but it's still bright enough for people to see outside, like I said earlier. Another question a few people had is, uh, will this phone work with Verizon? And yes, the Razer Phone 2 will work with Verizon. It's certified now, so if you pick this phone up from Razer or Amazon or Best Buy or someplace like that, you can pop in a Verizon SIM card and it will work with their network. And the last question comes from Eric. What kind of games can you appreciate on the Razer that you can't appreciate on the Galaxy Note 9? Now, be forewarned, I'm not the biggest gamer of mobile games on a phone, but what games can you enjoy in this that you couldn't on the Galaxy Note 9? Honestly, not that much, or nothing that I can think of that I've played on there. Because you know what, This they both have more or less the same specs, albeit from the display 120 hertz versus 60 hertz on the Galaxy Note 9. But like I told you earlier, it doesn't make a huge difference. I didn't really see a huge difference with it. Um, it's still, they're both very fast, very fluid phones. Is this the most fluid phone I've used this year? I would probably say yes. Um, but overall, in terms of gaming, I can't think of anything that, you would be, that you'd be able to play on this versus the Galaxy Note 9. There might be some aspect ratio issues in terms of something being cut off on the Galaxy Note 9 versus it would not be cut off on this. But regardless, you're still going to be able to play all the same games. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want to pick this phone up, I'll link it down below as well. Again, $7.99, and I'll see you down the road. Peace!